COSM getting very bullish news today regarding Zip Doctor, followed by a rejection almost immediately. Let's go ahead and dive right in to see what could be happening within the COSM asset for the following sessions. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by. Once again, this is Arca coming at you with the COSM technicals, raw price action, and statistical threat of analysis on this happy Monday. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arca Bulls. With that said, let's dive right into the charts. Okay, guys, so yes, we are looking at COSM on the daily chart here and upon the release of that good news regarding zip doctor and cosm we got a very nice pump to the upside of which absolutely helped the asset in several several momentum indicators okay you guys yes we did get this drop but i would like you not to focus on the drop i would like you to focus on the print of the particular candle after a downtrend okay so this is an inverted hammer okay so usually when you get a very long wicked candle and print a you know a smaller body closer to the closer to the opposing side wick uh, or shadow or tail whatever you want to call it is usually presents an inverted candle or a potential reversal candle okay so we already kind of saw the potential of coming back into this zone anyway right so and, and the other thing was that we were already calling the potential of a little inverse herpy derpy over here okay the head and the inverse head and shoulders okay so yes we did get a, a very a very nice print of a daily candle here as an inverted hammer so that's already showing us a very nice potential here notice as well that the not 382 is landing right at 353 so we're technically still in the golden pocket which is a very <laughs> which is a very bullish area to kind of sit in right and the golden pocket is located between the not 382 and the not 618 fibonacci ratio okay so <laughs> yes it is it's looking nice but i want to i want to express to you the support that we found within this area is that support that we've been talking about that we touched before a massive upside every time it's happened right so as soon as we break out of this area here, some nice upsides have happened, okay? So go ahead and notice that we do have that, uh, let's see. Yeah, we have one right over here. We have two right over here. This would be the breakout. It would be a technical three here, but we actually came right back down to that area. And now if you can just take a look at the, the wick low of this candle here, that wick low was $3.35, which just so happens to be the wick low of this candle here. You can see the L right over here okay so if you focus on that when i hover over the candle you'll see 335 right on that l and then we hover over to this candle right back over here before that massive upside uh, thrust 335 as well okay so very very curious supports that we're facing here and very confluent too and consistent okay so that's very good from the cosm asset let's continue on the analysis to see what else we have in line okay so uh what i mean by help out the 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 statistics is actually this or the momentum indicator sorry is is the fact that we actually got an even more of an upside pivot on the momentum indicator here the oscillator itself the stochastics oscillator which actually would help the probabilities for a continuation to the upside so anytime that volatility represented actually by this indicator bbwp anytime that it has expanded into critical volatility which is within the 90 percentile and started a contraction phase paired with uh stochastics with an upside pivot we have had uh some pretty nice moves to the upside right so uh, i have actually taken a so the samples throughout the entire trading history for the data set here for us to evaluate a couple means. So what we ended up coming out with was actually uh, four out of four tests that were guessed correctly to the upside, giving us a 162 spot, 0.5% move to the upside. Okay, so I, I, I would like you to know that the play is still absolutely on for that. Okay, so that's uh, that's very that's very encouraging, actually. So I love what's happening here now, particular to a shorter time frame. Okay, so this is the eight-hour critical contraction to expansion backtest that we did. So critical contraction meaning that we are all the way at the bottom side beneath the 15 percentile of volatility. With then, you know, the criteria would be any time that we've actually surpassed the 15 percentile started an expansion phase right to the upside, paired with volatility, paired with uh, momentum, with an upside pivot. We have 
gotten about nine uh, nine total iterations throughout the entire trading history of the COSM asset on the eight hour time frame. Okay, so out of those out of those nine, we've guessed six to the upside correctly. Okay, so that gives us a sixty six spot six six percent of accuracy with a massive upside thrust of about two hundred and six spot eight five percent. Okay, so the reason why I'm mentioning this is because it looks like we're about to start setting that move up. Okay, so this is looking good, and we already had spoken about this. Okay, we already spoke about the potential of finding that type of move to the upside. Of course, we failed it here the last time because of whatever happened today, right? But I would like you to see just how confluent our trend line regression is starting to actually play out. We looked at this the last time, and it may actually have found a support or could be finding a support very soon or a floor before a very strong upside thrust. Okay, so uh, another another reason that we actually could have seen that potential three dollars uh, and forty five cent uh, drop was because the mean was located right at three forty seven as well. So we came right back to that mean and bounced to the upside. So it's still looking very good. Now let's refer to the most important part of this analysis, which would be the RSI. Okay, so focusing on the thirty minute immediate short term time frame, you can actually see that we found the bounce from that fourteen day simple and now has an upside continuation on the thirty minute. Okay, so the four hour also has an upside pivot here. Okay, yes, I do see some resistance here, but I would like to actually, uh, you know, take the attention from the four hour into the eight hour. Okay, because the eight hour may be presenting a very interesting situation and an actual succession above that 14 day simple. So, and the reason why I can say that is first of all, because the 12 hour is giving some validity to the upside and thus giving credit to the eight hour time frame. So the eight hour time frame, 14 day simple moving average is located smack in the middle of the RSI at the 50 percentile, right? So now that RSI signal is facing the upside in the gravitational zone, which would usually pull us or slingshot us to, uh, to the upside. Okay, so this is the eight hour time frame is the one that I'm essentially looking at now because the eight hour time frame succeeding that 14 day simple would absolutely help all the shorter time frames and the upper time frames. Okay, so this is very nice. And uh, yes, we, we were looking at that 12 hour with an upside pivot, getting very close to that gravitational zone, potential upside coming in. Okay, so now look at the buy daily as the buy daily is starting to lose that bear pressure and is starting to go very much in a consolidation run here with the 14 day simple moving average. That's that's great. OK, that's very good because you can see that we've been using that 14 day simple as resistance, resistance. So now we actually pumped outside of it and we're actually coming back down to potentially test it and then continue onwards and upwards. Right. So now the five day time frame, of course, the same situation here, still above the 14 day simple and sitting within the gravitational zone of the bear strength percentile, which could assist us to the upside. OK, so this is looking pretty good for the COSM asset. OK, of course, we know that anything can happen in the markets. Of course, we know that I'm not always right, right? So something could actually entirely invalidate my personal thesis. But that's why we have to remember that I'm not a financial advisor. OK, guys, take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos. It's just a form of entertainment. I cannot suggest for you to buy or sell any assets whatsoever. OK, I need you to do your own due diligence and everything will be cool. All right. So please uh, remember that I'm actually still offering a few seats for that uh, Arc Masters course that we're going to be uh, having in the second or third week, actually the third week, more than likely for April. Right. So uh, we're going to be going everything. We're going to be going over everything from the very beginnings of trading, from the very fundamentals all the way to advanced topics and mathematical concepts. OK, so go ahead and reserve your seat now before it's too late, you guys, as this will be the final lesson that I will put together or for a very long time. So yes, you guys, so please just uh, go ahead and uh, get that done. So with that said, you guys, I wish you very well, uh, very good night, and I will catch you at the bell. Manana. Adios.